coffee might be nice and happen in the middle. <laughs> All right. Have you turned it on? Okay. All right, ready. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, you're very welcome. The title of tonight's webinar is, I think you know it, Minimally Invasive Methods of Managing Caries. I hope you enjoy it too. Um, hello from the day job and thanks to my sponsors or our sponsors tonight, uh, OLB. It's very much appreciated. I've been mentioning that toothpaste in a little while. Uh, this is what I plan to talk about. Not sure how long it will last. I've done much of this lecture before, um, but it interests me because uh, I'm going to be using resin composite materials. I'm going to be using dentine bonding. Both of those are things that I feel that I've got an interest in. Uh, I was a sad person and uh, prepared most of the lecture just the week before last when I was on holiday simply because I wasn't quite well organized in a, and that's a nice place called Ile sur la Sorgue, which is in Provence in France, well worth the trip. So my very brief history is to have graduated from there 100 years ago. Uh, it used to be a joke, but I'm not sure that any of you are laughing. And even then I said, why are we filling white teeth with the silver material? So an interest of mine for many, many years um, has been white filling with black teeth and even in my practicing days, Waiting this to 1985 for the first ever dedicated posterior composite with Triclusin. Um, worked in Belfast for a while after graduation, moved to Manchester. You can see the dental school there, and you can tell what era that is from the cars that there are. Um, there it is again. Um, basically, ran out of money and went into practice because people said that's where the money is, Trev. And sure enough, we will be among the top six to seven wage earners, percent of wage earners in the UK. But no one need tell me that dentistry is an easy way of making a living. This practice taught me a lot. One, you've got to use materials that were dependable, behave the same every day. And two, if I told my patients that I wasn't going to cut their teeth, or if I did, I was only going to cut them as minimally as was possible, they seemed to like that. And so... I don't know what it was called then, but today it's called Minimally Invasive Dentistry, MID. Eventually um, uh, sold the practice uh, and went back into academia at the University of Birmingham in 2000, before that in Glasgow. A few disclosures, you can see that. I have no um, financial interest in any 3M SP3 